Hello everyone, I'm Tina from Angel's Morning Call, and today we have a special guest. It's Chiemi Yazaki, the Head Minister of Happy Science Hawaii. Hello, my name is Chiemi Yazaki. I am so honored to be invited as a guest today because I really like this program. Thank you, Tina. No, thank you for coming on our program. And Angel's Morning Call is a special program in which we bring you the teachings of Master Ryuho Okawa. These are the eternal truths, the everlasting laws that lead all people to happiness. And so far we've answered the question, what happens when we die? Our soul returns to the spirit world and the core of our soul is our mind. And it's the only thing we can take back with us, right? Yes, the spiritual is a world where our mind is everything. And our state of mind determines where we go back in spiritual world after we die. So it is quite important, or most important, uh, to brush up our soul or mind. Right. And I hope that through our program, some of you have had your questions answered. And how about you, Jamie-san? How have Happy Science teachings changed your life? Well, actually, Happy Science Teaches changed my life completely. Oh, wow. Yes, because uh, before knowing these teachings, I didn't know why I am living, why there are so many sufferings in life, and where we go after we die. Yeah. But now I know those answers, and I know the purpose and mission of life, so I don't have to worry. So I want to convey this truth to everyone on Earth and make them happy. That's great. What a great mission. Thank you. <laughs> and that brings us to our topic today, which is the purpose and mission of life. So let's listen to Master Okawa's lecture and learn about the meaning of being born and living in this world. Happy Science teaches the objective and mission of life. The objective of life is for our souls to gain many different experiences by being reborn into this world. We come to this world and leave it for the other world through the process of reincarnation. The mission of your life is to make your soul shine and help create utopia on Earth. Let me explain the objective and mission of life in a simpler way. A human being is a spiritual being, a child of God. What is the mission of children of God? It is to turn this earthly world, which is the training ground of souls, into a utopia. It is a world where everyone on earth can live well and love each other. A world filled with light. We incarnate with such a mission to manifest an ideal world on Earth. We cover many things about the spiritual world. Our activities have caused many people to be interested in the other world. It's a good thing. But most importantly, you should make your life shine with the greatest brilliance. And turn your time on Earth to gold. No matter how much interest you have in the spiritual world, you must start from making the most of your time in this world, combusting your life's energy to the fullest. Time consists of separate days, and your mission in life is to turn each day into gold. You must not use your knowledge of the other world as a refuge from this world. Instead, make each day worthwhile and fill your days with golden light. The more you come to know about the truths, the more I would like you to appreciate the value of time. Cherish each day of your life and live every day as if it were an entire lifetime. This is vital. Thank you, Master Okawa. Wow. And today he said in the lecture, which is found in this book, The Royal Road of Life, on page 116, the objective of life is for our souls to gain many different experiences by being reborn into this world. 
The mission of your life is to make your soul shine and help create utopia on earth. Wow, thank you, Master Okawa. And Chimisan, can you tell us more about the purpose and mission of life? Ah, uh, yes. The purpose of life is to brush up our soul, which is our spiritual growth. And our mission of life is our common mission. That is to create an ideal world, utopia on us. And about that, uh, in the true words spoken by Buddha, by Master Ryuho Okawa, it says, All of the people love each other, live harmoniously, believe in one another. That world is utopia. So utopia is an ideal world where everybody loves each other. As children of God or children of Buddha, transcends the differences of skin colors, languages, and um, nationalities, mm. and combine our power to make, uh, to make this world a better place. Wow, that's wonderful. <laughs> and today we have some books to show you uh, that can help you in your purpose and mission. So, for example, for your purpose, which is your spiritual growth, I recommend this book, The Guidepost to Happiness. Yeah, you can learn a lot and brush up yourself. This helped me a lot. And for your mission, for example, if you work in an office or company, The Heart of Work, this will help you to create an ideal workplace. Mm, so that sounds good. Yeah. Yes. And then if you're a homemaker and you're taking care of your family, that's a great mission, important mission. I recommend Tips to Find Happiness. And if you work in politics, you may have a mission there. Love for the future. This is to create ideal politics in your country. So never give up. All the answers are here and you can make your life shine with gold. Yes, about that, Master yeah. said in today's lecture, mm. This book, The Royal Road of Life, page 119. Let me read. No matter how much interest you have in the spiritual world, you must start from making the most of your time in this world, combusting your life's energy to the fullest. Time consists of separate dates, and your mission in life is turn each day into gold. Wow. wow. <laughs> turn your days into gold. How do you turn your days into gold, Chiemi san? Ah, uh, yes, I start a day with a prayer reciting the true words spoken by Buddha mm -hmm. in the end of the sutra. Uh, modern Buddha, Master Okawa, says to keep right mind and live in tune with Buddha's words. Here we vow to do so. Wow. So I start a day with a prayer to vow to live in tune with Buddha's words mm. and go to work. <laughs> wow, that's fantastic. And anyone can receive this sutra when they become a member of Happy Science, right? Yes. Oh. I really recommend you to read it yeah. every morning. It's so precious. Yes. Mm. And to live in tune with Buddha's words is to live by these teachings, isn't it? Yes. There are so many teachings, but they can all be divided into four categories, the four principles of happiness, and that's what we're going to learn next time. Yes, we mm -hmm. cannot wait it. Today's master's lecture is in this book, The Royal Road of Life. This book is filled with uh, wisdom to shine your life, so I recommend you to read it. Great. Then that's all for now, and we'll see you next time. Bye. See you next time. Bye.